Hi Simmers, in this video I'm going over how to install the Open Love Life mod. Now before you do this, always make sure you read through the description. The reason I tell all of you guys that is because sometimes the information that you need is very important in that description and not only shows you how to use the mod and what it can do, it also lets you know if it is compatible with other mods. So it's very important to remember that and uh, just to make sure you don't need any packs or anything like that as well all right i do have a free sims 4 pack giveaway going on i do this once every month if you want access to being able to win a free pack of your choosing all you have to do is subscribe to i am simplicity sim game channel after that go over to twitch follow me on simplicity sim and you can choose tuesday thursday or saturday to watch one of my streams i normally stream on those days in the evening time from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, guys? So I look forward to helping you guys out. In order to enter the raffle so I know, make sure that you comment on the Twitch so I can add your name in the raffle after the video is watched. Thank you so much, guys. All right, let's get into this. So we're going to click Files. And here's where you're going to go ahead and look for the most updated version of the mod. So the one I have right now is February 27th because it's three, it's March 25th. So um, you can click this here and download from here, or you can go in this top right corner and click download. And it's automatically going to give you the most updated version. Once you're done, you will see it in the top right corner after it is downloaded. Guys, if you have an extractor app, what the extractor app does is when you download things on your computer, they're going to automatically go into that that app and so those files that you see are going to need it to be copied and pasted into your mods folder because that extractor app already unzipped the file for you okay for windows users you're going to right click the file explorer icon and click file explorer for mac users you're going to right click the finder icon and select finder window once you do that go ahead and locate that downloads folder after you're here you'll see a zip file mac users if you see the zip file double click and it'll open in a blue folder for my windows users right click and select extract or extract all just depends on your computer and once you do that mine opens up and lets me know what package is inside for you if yours didn't open up just double click the folder you just opened and this is all you should see now we're going to go ahead and head over to the bottom of the screen again, right click file explorer, and we're going to go ahead and locate the mods folder, but it's to do so you need your documents folder. So if you guys cannot find that folder, you want to load up your Sims 4 game, let your computer identify that the game even exists. Also, you want to check underneath this PC and if you're using Mac under the, the name of your Mac, all that kind of stuff, because sometimes folders are just hidden inside of other folder locations. That's it. All right. So double click the documents folder, double click the electronic arts folder, and then double click the Sims 4 folder. Once you're in the Sims 4 folder, go ahead and take that open love life folder and drag it into the mods folder. OK, but before you do that, make sure you click mods and it's not in the Sims 4 folder. OK, the mods folder is in the Sims 4 folder. So double click mods first and then go ahead and drag this bad boy into the mods folder. When you double click, this is all you should see. OK, guys, now if you want to delete the zip file from here, you can right click and select delete. It's not something you have to do. It's just something I do to clear out space. In the case that you guys still need guidance or help, you can feel free to visit SimplicitySim.com website. Here is where you will see two ebooks underneath the Simplicity Sim Mod ebooks tab. And you can use these for the benefit of understanding mods, especially on those nights where you can't get the help that you need. If you guys are brand new with mods, please make sure that you install your script for and custom content in your game option settings. If you guys don't know how to do that, I have a video going over that on my channel. Okay. So you guys, lots of love and lots of light until next time.